open source software is a miracle of the digital age. Great software for free. To celebrate, we've put together a list of the 10 best open source apps you owe it to yourself to try in 2019. There are some golden oldies in there as well as some new stuff you probably haven't heard of. Enjoy. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is Best Open Source Apps 2019. Open source software feels like an anomaly in today's corporate tech world. The idea that a community of developers are happy to work on a piece of software, usually for no money, for literally years, seems ludicrous and speaks to the passion that people have for making technology for the benefit of everyone. Open source devs, we salute you. So to one of these tireless workers who quietly make our day-to-day -day computer experiences that much better, we've decided to write up a multi-platform list of what we deem to be the best open source software you can get in 2019. Do you know that there are tons of open source software out there and we can't possibly cover them all. That said, here are what we think are the best for the end user. Opinions may differ. Krita. Platforms, Windows, Mac and Linux. Actually not sure how you pronounce this. It's Krita, Krita, whichever way you pronounce it. For the creatives out there, the creatives if you will, this is possibly one of the best kept secrets on the internet, which is strange because it's free and open source. Krita is a wonderfully in-depth digital painting and graphics editing tool that's great for both those trying their hand at digital art and for full-on professionals. It uses a layer-based system and despite its complexity, it has a very accessible UI and puts much less load on your system than, say, Photoshop. From the broad strokes to the final details like colour management, Krita is such a robust tool that you'll be amazed how it's offered for free. Notepad++ Platforms, Windows. Experienced PC users won't need to hear again about why Notepad++ is so useful. It's a brilliant tool for coders, with the expected features like syntax highlighting, a number of markup languages, and one of the cleanest interfaces around. For gamers who like dabbling around in their games' any files to improve graphics and performance, it's impossible to go back to regular Notepad after this, because Notepad++ automatically organises all the data into clearly numbered rows. It also has an excellent tab system which lets you work on multiple files at once and remembers the tabs you had open so you can pick up where you left off even after rebooting your PC. Test Disk and PhotoRec Platforms Windows, Mac and Linux Data recovery doesn't get colder, more clinical or more efficient than this. Test Disk looks much the same today as it did when it was first released over 20 years ago and is still one of the best tools for recovering whole partitions of lost or deleted data in various formats. PhotoRec does much the same job but zeroes in on recovering photos and similar digital media. Both of these tools work from a command line interface which may be off-putting for those who prefer a more user-friendly look, but the file system support here is very impressive once you learn which commands do what. This pair remains one of the most efficient options for data recovery. Stud.io Platforms Windows Mac most of the best open source software has had years to refine itself, so we've made an effort to look for some of the more recent tools that have made a splash as well. One of our favourites is the Lego building software Stud.io. It's incredibly intuitive and will have you digitally constructing models from your wildest imaginings immediately. One of the neater features is it can track down where to buy all the bricks you used in your virtual model in real life, linking you to the stores that sell them and letting you order them straight away. GIMP. Platforms, Windows, Mac, Linux. Still going strong after all these years, GIMP has firmly entrenched itself as the most viable free alternative to Adobe Photoshop that you'll ever need. Its UI doesn't hide its debts to Photoshop, and each of its rich features, such as layers, curvature pens, masking controls, you name it, is more or less where you'd find it in Photoshop. In 2018, GIMP was tastefully updated with a new dark theme and added customization with icon sizes that makes it easier to tailor to high DPI scenes. Crucially, it now takes advantage of modern tech like multi-threading, high bit depth support and GPU side processing for those with graphical firepower. DIA Platforms Windows, Mac, Linux Five years isn't a very long time in open source terms, but in that time DIA has established itself as one of the best free alternatives you can get for the pricey Microsoft Visio suite. 
The diagramming software is packed with a diverse array of native shapes that allows you to create all kinds of diagrams from flowcharts to network architectures. DIA may not have evolved much in the past couple of years, but it's such a great value package anyway, it's hard to hold that against it. Search everything. Platforms, Windows. Windows built-in search function doesn't quite cut it. It never has and maybe never will. But that's okay because the plucky devs at Void Tools have done something that presumably very well-paid bunch at Microsoft couldn't, create an incredibly efficient search tool that can find absolutely anything on your PC in seconds. It builds a database upon your first search, indexing everything to make it accessible moving forward, then filters down results as you type your search query. You can add various conditions to your searches and view results in thumbnails and so on, but for most searches you can just type your query as soon as you open the tool, making it almost as instantaneous as Windows search function. Bleach bit. Platforms Windows, Mac, Linux. The open source answer to Piriform's CCleaner, BleachBit strips away the elegant interfaces and pretty colours of similar system cleaning software, focusing instead on doing the job it's meant to do. Highlight the kludgy files, dud registry keys and unhealthy amounts of cookies on your PC and clean them up for you. It also deletes and refreshes system files like the memory dump, various logs and prefetch caches to give your PC an under the hood fresh start, while not deleting your personal data and files of course. Bleachbit isn't always clear about what exactly it is that you're cleaning when you check these options on the left, but it has other conveniences like letting you know when certain cleaning processes may take longer. Overall, it's probably the best open source system cleaner you'll find. RetroArch Platforms Windows, Macs, Linux and Android the great open source behemoth of video game emulation, RetroArch is an almost unfathomably ambitious hive mind venture. It contains piles of emulators for all the most popular consoles, as cores, which are adapted to download, update and work within the software. In many cases, the very best emulators for a given console are cores you'll find in RetroArch, such as the PS1 core Beetle PSX HW. RetroArch is a lot more fiddly than any emulator you've used before, but take a little time to get used to it and you'll see it's also the best. NGINX Platforms Windows, Mac and Linux. NGINX, I think that may even be pronounced NGINX, <laughs> has been around for a good long while, but the hard work put into it means that now it feels like the most modern server software around. It's easy to configure and makes the sometimes frustrating task of creating a reverse proxy easier than its rivals. The way it manages worker processes means that it can handle a huge number of connections at consistently high speeds. Nginx or NGINX still lags a little behind established software like Apache in terms of compatibility and support, but more and more people are using these two softwares side by side, getting the best out of both. Conclusion We know there's a mountain of great open source software that probably deserves to be here, and we'll update this list occasionally and discuss the worthiness of those additions. Meantime, do you think we missed a vital piece of open source software? Make your case in the comments. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please take a moment to like, subscribe and comment below. That's all for now. See you next time.